Hello everybody, I'm back again with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope your life's going well. Hope this week's gone well for you and hope that, that, that today has gone well for you. Today is March 14, 2024. It is about 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope that you all had a good day at work. Or if you didn't work, you just had a good and productive day overall. You know, you enjoyed yourself, did some sort of hobby, um worked on yourself, worked on whatever you have going on. I hope it was productive and I hope that it was fun for you. This is actually my second video today. Um, the topic that I want to talk about is emotions and more specifically um, letting other people control your emotions. I think all of us as human beings right we have in one way or another let other people control our emotions and I'm here to tell you don't do that don't let other people control your emotions I know it's hard because you know like for example let's say somebody is mad right somebody's mad they're taking out their anger on you even though sorry about that y'all well there was somebody talking like right outside of my door but what I was saying was if there's somebody that's mad and they're taking their madness and frustration out on you and it's like you know you didn't do anything wrong like that's gonna cause you to feel negative emotions think they get uh, negative thoughts and you want to pretty much try not to do that. You want to try not to let, because, I mean, you didn't do anything bad. You didn't do anything negative to this person. You're not responsible for their negative feelings and emotions. So, if they're taking out their anger, frustration, madness out on you, I mean, th I mean, there's really nothing that you can do about that because I mean you you didn't do anything to change their emotion so why let me ask you this why are you letting them change your emotion I mean the type of job I do I have to um, do a lot of like different deliveries right and so I mean, you're going to deal with all types of, well, I, I deal with all types of like different personalities, you know, mostly good, mostly, you know, good personalities. You know, most people are nice, but you're going to have people that are angry, upset, you know, for whatever reason. Maybe it's because whatever they ordered got shipped out late, you know. But me, as a driver, like, that has, like, nothing to do with me. The fact that, for whatever reason, it was, you know, it, it didn't arrive to, um, it didn't, they didn't put it on my truck until that day. Like, that has nothing to do with me. You know, that had, that's, that's, um... That's more um, of a logistics thing, but me as one person, that has nothing to do with me. So the fact that it was put on my truck and delivered, you know, a week later, whatever, that has nothing to do with me. So they're going to be upset and I have to know that, hey, them being upset, sometimes being angry. Um, that that I can't let their negative emotions affect me I mean it literally does not affect me at all like um, and this is something that really just takes a lot of um, it just takes practice just learning how to you know just take a deep breath and just you know just keep you know your head on straight 
and just keep on keeping on that's all you can really do because like I say it's outside of your control you know they're not mad at you personally but because I represent the company they're gonna be mad and so you know you know sometimes you just have to deal with that and that can really apply to any situation someone's mad at you you know someone's you know let's say they're um they're just sad and down and always making you know negative comments about people and I always kind of look at that person I say if you're the person that's always negative you know towards other people you mean towards other people that's an internal issue that's something that you need to deal with right and I think that we as humans don't really fully understand that a lot of times when people are mean you know they just have an overall mean disposition they're nasty towards other people rude towards other people for like no reason that's an internal problem and I've learned that and that's why it doesn't really affect my um, emotions now back in the day a few years ago yeah it would affect my emotions you know if somebody would be mad at me I would get mad somebody would be rude and mean that would make me mad you know now I'm never a person that like yell and act crazy and stuff but on the inside I would be mad like why are you so mean but you learn that hey if you're a nice person you know you're a positive person right you just don't let that affect you like that you don't let people being mean rude and nasty affect you like that because look you're a positive person why would you let them steal that positivity away from you you know you have to understand that in life not everybody's gonna uh, have the same emotions all the time there's gonna be people that are really nice there are gonna be people that are cordial there are gonna be people that are sad a lot there are gonna be people that are angry rude short-tempered short-tempered let me expand on that I think in this society in general just American society in general a lot of people are short-tempered because I think in this society we we're just used to you know wanting everything fast 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 and the result of that is if something isn't done fast we're short-tempered you know hold up y'all one second sorry y'all I had to turn on some background noise because um, the person like started talking outside of my balcony again and because my place is like real small um, if I don't have any like background noise it's gonna get picked up in the microphone and that's why I say um, I'm preparing to move into like a much bigger space and so I'm just uh, I'm just getting prepared counting down the days till I move cuz I can't wait but anyway what I was saying is a lot of people are um, they're short-tempered because in American society we want everything to be fast we want everything to not only be fast but everything to be exact while being fast and we just live in such a fast-paced society and living in a fast-paced society we're gonna have um, we're, 
We're going to have people that are short-tempered. We're going to have people that, you know, if something goes wrong, they're going to get mad. And I think that if society in general took time to... um, If society took time to just slow down, which I know this isn't the most realistic thing to expect, but you never know. One day it could happen. I don't think it would happen, but you never know. But if society just took its time, slowed down just a little bit, that's why... I would say on the weekend people are overall more relaxed versus the weekday because the weekday is just work, work, work. You know, we want everything fast. We want to get to work as fast as we can. We want work to be over so that we can rush home and, you know, enjoy the little time that we have. But I just think that if we just took the time, right, slow down, enjoy life. You know, just try our best to live life to the fullest. You know, I think people would be happier. They wouldn't be as short-tempered. Um, they wouldn't be as stressed. And I think stress is another cause of a lot of people's short-temperedness and just being mad overall. Um, it's just... Sorry, y'all. Like, my phone's storage, like, ran out completely. It's like everything is going wrong in this video. But you know what? It's not going to affect my emotions. But, uh... But, yeah, I, I just think that we have to learn how to take the time to slow down. And then you won't really see as many people with short tempers. People that are mad. But kind of getting back on subject to not letting people affect your emotions if you're at a stage in life you're at a point in life where you know you're just not gonna let people you know affect your emotions like that man that's a special attribute to have just to be completely unaffected by negative emotions and that's a testament to the inner you you know you're somebody that is at peace with himself you're somebody that knows that the outside world is full of variables and that with that fact knowing that fact they're not going to let anybody's negativity rudeness short temperedness affect them they're not going to let somebody being mean to them affect them, especially if they didn't do anything. Now, if you're somebody that knows that they like to provoke people just to get a response out of somebody, then that's different. But I'm talking about people that are just everyday, regular people. You know, they're happy. They're, they're cordial with everyone they come across. They try to be as nice to everybody that they come across. And then the thing is, you're going to come across that person that is mean for no reason. How are you going to respond? Are you going to respond at all? Are you going to respond with kindness? Are you going to respond with negativity? And that's something that you have to kind of ask yourself. How am I responding to other people's emotions? Right? And do I need to learn how to not let other people's emotions affect me I think these are very important questions that should be asked when you're evaluating whether you're letting other people's emotions affect you because the overall goal is to not let other people's emotions affect you and so if you're somebody that does let other people's emotions affect you, moods, tempers affect you, I would say just try it. Just, just practice the next time you get in that situation. 
just think about okay how, how am I responding in this situation just really really think about that instead of thinking about them getting all mad getting all riled up think about yourself think about okay how am I actually responding to this person and when you're more conscious about how you're responding you're more likely to not respond negatively at all like you're gonna start thinking about okay that look this person's being mean and negative to me but look I'm happy things are going well in my life you know I got friends and family that love me support me you know that want to see me do great why am I gonna let some random person because a lot of times it's a stranger a lot of times it's not a stranger. Sometimes it's your family that's just negative for no reason. Sometimes it could be your friends that are negative for no reason. Why am I going to let this person's emotion affect me? And once you're more conscious about your response to the negativity, you know... I mean, you're pretty much going to learn how to deal with it and learn to not let it affect you, you know. Now, it's a bit different if somebody's, like, sad. If someone's sad, it's a bit different, you know. You want to, you know, try to help them depending on what they're sad about. If they're sad about something, like, serious then hey be that helping person but if they're sad about something real trivial then it's like well <laughs> what can you do you know but even then you have to let it not affect you and let it not get you down you know because think about it that's their situation at the end of the day you can have empathy you can have compassion but you can't let that just bring you down, you know, just your whole mood do doing a 180, basically. You, you can't let that happen. You have to maintain your inner peace. You have to maintain your mood, your emotions. Not let it get swayed by people in the outside world. I really do hope I'm making sense here. Um, my phone is actually about to, like, my phone is actually on one percent, and so I actually have to end this video now. But I just wanted to come on here and like talk with you all. Um, yeah, just don't let people's uh, emotions affect you like that. I think that the more that people do that, the more positivity you're actually gonna see in this world. You know, I know with the economy and everything, and y'all know I'm a realist about this economy. That's one thing about me, too. I am a realist, right? And so, um, I am going to tell the truth, um, but I still try and maintain a positive attitude, like, no matter what, like, that's just the type of person that I am, you know, I'm going to be nice to pretty much anybody that I come across, um, and just, just overall, just try to be that way, just try to, you know, just live positively, you know, just, just try, just try, I know it's hard, um, like I say, times are tough, type of society we in you know this fast-paced society it's hard to like really ch remain positive but I do encourage you to try um, you know because even when I make videos about the economy and how you know AI is gonna um, you know take over a lot of jobs yeah that's negative news and that's really me just reporting on what I think is really going to happen. Like, y'all know I'm a realist at the end of the day, but even through that, even knowing these things, I'm still going to maintain a positive attitude, you know. Even though I report on jobs being lost, 
um, you know, companies switching over to AI, um, some things that are generally considered negative, I still know how to be positive no matter what, you know. Even that video where I was talking about like feeling lonely, I was still positive after that video. It's just, it's true. We all go through a wide range of emotions, no matter who you are. So I just say do the best you can in maintaining positivity. Um, we all have to do that, myself included. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, man, I'm kind of tired. I worked all day. So, um, with that, thanks for watching this video and have a great evening.